Bible speaks of many, many men having more than one wife, and we believe that it was right for us to do. 60-year-old Tom Miller has recently married 19-year-old Grieber, with the full support of his wife, 44-year-old Belinda. My ladies, I've been blessed by God to have two women that I love their spirit, I love who they are, I love their laughter. They're both different. I'm in love with both of them. The trio, who believe polygamy is supported by the Bible, are preparing for the birth of Tom and Reba's child. You keep our baby safe, Lord. You keep our children safe. The baby would have two moms, which I'm okay with that. Tom is the love of my life, and Reba is the blessing of my life, you know, so it all works. But while they might be happy together, their lifestyle raises a few eyebrows. I think it's wrong. It's kind of sick. Jesus said to him, rise up, take your bed and walk. Tom is now a pastor, but he didn't always live a religious life. I was raised in inner city Cleveland in the projects and found no good way of getting out. And I bumped into people that were doing the wrong thing. He became a mafia enforcer. But when he was imprisoned for seven years for stabbing a man in a bar fight, his life changed. I've been indicted 52 times. I'm not proud of that, but that's who I was. Sold some guy's Bible in prison and read it in his, I was in solitary confinement for like two and a half years. I read the Bible. I didn't meet a pastor. I met God that said, yeah, even you, even you can live differently. Tom was released from prison a changed man in 1991. Seven years ago, he married his first wife, Belinda who has seven children from a previous marriage. And it was she who suggested the idea of introducing another woman to the family. Belinda and I had been looking for a sister wife for a year. It had to open to the thought and had tried to find somebody that was, that was like-minded spiritually. I wanted to have more of a family. I wanted to be complete and having another lady in the house not only makes our family as a whole but individually is a beautiful thing because it's like having a sister around. This year, Tom tied the knot with 19-year-old Reba. I'd known Reba for a long time, but then she moved away and hadn't seen her for years. Belinda and I were operating a food pantry that we have at the church, and Reba just came running across the parking lot. I caught something because she hugged me, and I was like, that wasn't a normal hug. I wanted to keep hugging her. And I realized, wow, I'm really appreciating her as a woman. But Reba's family did not approve at first. First, my family thought it wasn't right. They didn't think that it was right for me to be here and be with him because of the whole him being married. But then they eventually started coming around and they were like, you're happy. It's all we care about. As long as you're happy, we're happy. The trio live in the same house and organize sleeping arrangements so that each wife gets individual time with Tom. We do like every three days. One of us will sleep in what we call the master bedroom and the other wife will sleep in the other bedroom and just the way it is. There's no like, hey, I'm upset because it's, you know, your night or my night. We've pretty much worked all that out, you know, and we're comfortable with that. In our relationship, we do not share a bed. It is one-on-one. -on -one. Tom is either with me or he is with Reba. Here's the balancing act, you know, balancing act of time. You know, I have to balance my time with my wives, and I, I try my best to do that. Jealousy for me is not a, a non-issue because I enjoy the type of relationship that we do, and I'm confident and secure with my husband. But I also have the responsibility to let them know they're loved, and, and it's my job to constantly remind both of them that even though I'm in a relationship with Belinda and Reba, they're both still singularly important to me, and they are. But they do spend most of their time together and get mixed reactions when out in public. <laughs> we get stared at a lot. We get attention. We don't wear a big sign saying, you know, I'm married to two women, but they can tell. Sometimes someone will see me kissing one of them and they thought I was married to the other one, and then I'll let them know, by the way, we're all, we're all married, because they're both my wives. And, really? And I have had people say, you know, why would you want more than one of them? Well, look at them, they're beautiful women. I have two wives. That's kind of sick, honestly. 45 years old and 60 is a big difference. That's only 15 years. 
Yeah, but I mean, let alone 60 and 19. They're both his wife. Is he Mormon? No, Christian. Tom Miller is the type of guy, he is the go-to guy. Uh, he's there anytime you need him. And he doesn't treat people any different. You know, he just loves people. He's good to everybody. Uh, in terms of him having two wives, uh, it's not something that I would do, but that's the lifestyle that him and his wives want to take. Whatever you do, that's between God and you. And I love them unconditional. They're good people. The trio's next challenge is to raise the child that Reba will soon give birth to. Definitely, I'm excited that there's going to be a little human that's part of us, you know, the family. We're going to have stuff for the baby. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the baby. We kind of make jokes about the baby and where the baby will sleep because the baby is going to have two separate master suites in case Mommy Reba needs a break then Mommy Belinda can have the baby for the night. We're just a normal family. We just enjoy life. We enjoy, we love each other. We love our kids. We love our family. It's just a normal life.